Today, we're going to have a 3D printer race. We're going to compare the Prusa Mark III and the Prusa Mini, both very well-known 3D printers in our community. And for those of you that have never seen me do a video like this before, it's really not so much of a race, I just call it that for lack of a better term. It's more of a side-by-side -side comparison of these two machines, and it's not scientific in any way, we just start the same print, we try to keep it as consistent as possible across both printers, and then we check it out afterwards. I even like to keep the filament the same on both machines, and both machines will be in stock condition. I haven't made any modifications to them at all. And speaking of the filament, the first thing I need to do before we get started is take my giant filament spool of Jesse Printed Solid PLA and get it down to some spools that we can use on both the machines. So let's do that now. So we have our filament re-spooled on these identical spools, so let's go ahead and get preheated on both these machines, and we're going to load the filament, and then we'll talk a bit about the G-code that we're going to run in this test. Of course we will be printing the Benchy model today, but the profiles that Prusa uses are a little bit different for the Mini and the Mark III. Usually I would use the same G-code on both printers, but I think it would be an interesting test to use the defined profiles for each machine. These are the ones that Prusa provides for both machines in Prusa Slicer. Print settings, filament settings, and printer settings are all going to be designed for these machines. So not only are we comparing the hardware, we're comparing the stock profiles as well. The files have been sliced, they've been loaded on the printers, everything's preheated. All we have to do now is hit the start button. So, ready? Go. You'll notice that the Mark III is up and printing faster than the Mini. That's because in the Mini profile, they lower the temperature of the hot end to 170 before they do the probe, so you don't have little bits of filament all over the bed. Hopefully that's something they might do with the Mark III default profile in the future. So we're up and printing on both machines. The Mark III does have about a one layer head start on the Mini, but we'll see if the Mini can catch up and we'll see which one finishes first. Now we're gonna take it to the time lapse. The prints are done, the Mini came from behind to beat out the Mark III. On the Benchy print, I'd say overall it was just a couple minutes faster. But how do the prints look? Let's find out. Let's start with the Mark III. There is a little bit of elephant foot on this print, but that was my fault. I probably have it just a little bit too close to the bed. I do switch sheets out on that one quite often. So a couple of those settings still need to be tuned, so don't mind that. The biggest thing I see on this one is this right in here. And that's probably caused by the stepper driver. People have reported that 2130s have just a little bit of this noise. The finish is still nice, but you can definitely tell there's just a little bit of a pattern there. Overall, not too bad. The wheelhouse and this area right here, a lot of times you can see issues. The Mark III handled that pretty well. A little bit of inconsistency down here, but on the Benchy, that's very common. You can almost make out the license plate back here. 
And the same for this side, inconsistencies. Top finishes are really nice. All the holes are nice and round. And it bridges really well. A really nice Minchie. Now the Mini. The first thing I noticed on the Mini is you did have just a few strings down in here. We'll compare these side by side, but you don't have that same driver noise that you see on the Mark III prints. Looking at the wheelhouse, you can see this inconsistency right here. I see that a lot on Bowden style printers. Probably a little bit of retraction tuning, you could make that even better. Still not bad. Same kind of inconsistency down here. A little bit of a strange effect down in here for the Mini. Not sure what that is. But again, it's really only noticeable when we're looking at it at a micro level like this. About the same for the back, maybe a few more blobs than the Mark III. License plate probably isn't quite as legible. Really nice finish on this side. None of that driver noise. Bridging looks really good. Again, a really respectable print. And let's just take a couple looks side by side. The Mark III's over here, the Mini's over here. Again, Mark III, Mini. So there it is. They both turned out a very respectable print, and it's really too close to tell if one is better than the other. I saw a couple things on both machines. The Mark III had somewhat of a driver noise on the side of the print. You could see that in the close-up. And the Mini might have a few tweaks that need to be done with retraction. It is a Bowden-style printer, so you might have a few issues there versus the direct drive on the Mark III. But again, both really good-looking prints. Hopefully you found this interesting, or at least entertaining. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up, or subscribe to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.